Well, here's another uh, generator I bought recently. Um, I seem to accumulate cheap generators, and um, I got this one for $20. It's a little four-stroke, uh, 900 900-watt 900 continuous generator. It's in pretty good condition. Um, it didn't go when I got it, like all my generators, and uh, they're all non-goers, and I get them going. But uh, this basically had carburetor. Uh, and uh, governor problem, someone had tinkered with it as usual, and uh, it's a nice little generator. And uh, quite handy being four stroke, they put out nice clean electricity, uh, much better than the, the two stroke ones, uh, which uh, are pretty dirty. But uh, of course, the bigger they get, the heavier they get. And uh, while you can lift this quite, quite okay and put it on the yurt, I wouldn't want to sort of hump it too far up the, uh, up the block. Uh, they get quite heavy, so. In this case, I made a little trolley up for it, so just to make it easier to move around, and I'll show you what it looks like. Well, here it is on the trolley. Um, what a compact little design. Um, I made it as light as possible, and uh, the handle comes out um, just to and turns around, so I can put it on the back of the ute without it hitting the back of the cab. Um, as you go around, it's just made out of odd components. Looking at it, you can see down here I've got a deflector here for the exhaust so it doesn't blow into the tyre, that's just a steel bracket. So that basically deflects the exhaust gases away from the rubber wheel. Apart from that, uh, it's all pretty straightforward. And uh, makes it a lot easier to move it around. I'll uh, show you. So, just tip it back. And uh, she wheels along beautiful. No problem. There you go. Easy way to move the Jenny around. I'll take the generator off and see what the, the actual framework looks like. You can see here how the trolley looks. It's uh, uses the minimum amount of steel. Uh, I try to keep it as light as possible. Um, the handle comes out and you can turn it round and put the pin back in so when I put it on the back of the U it doesn't hit the cab you know with this part or you could take it off and put it in the boot of your car if you had to. Down here you can see it's got a here's the deflector which stops the exhaust gases going onto the rubber tyre. Down here the the mounts for the the feet for the motor sit on these four pads and the actual uh, bearers that take all the all the weight except it's angle iron and they come up on the inside of the the bearers on the generator motor so they actually come up here and here and then the feet uh, are under these bearers here so by doing it that way you avoid uh, clearance problems with the uh, the generator at this end obviously if the bracket came out and went up here to hit this so putting it on the inside it, it's nice and compact and uh, that's all there is to it. So, uh, yeah, easy to make and uh, makes it very easy to move around. With this design, when you you have to tilt back the uh, handle to, to move it, so doing it this way, you really don't want to fill your fuel tank more than half full, otherwise you, it may slop out when you tilt the whole unit back to wheel it, so that's something to consider. I mean, the other option is you have wheels all round, have three or four wheels and keep it level, but then it makes it more complicated and it's not so easy to wheel around over bumpy ground so for most of the time half full is plenty anyway for what I want to use it for so which is generally just um, around the house maintenance so uh, yeah there's a trolley you can make up if you've got a bit of spare time and a stick welder and uh, a set of wheels and uh, makes it a lot easier and uh, more manageable okay see ya